here I'm recording welcome everybody to the design sprint Saturday we got August 19 uh, primary goal today is to to finish up as much of the CAD as we can for the power cube by doing all the individual parts and then assembling them into a final thing final assembly so what we'll do is continue working on ind individual parts right now um, building them up and up one by one there's a spreadsheet of them uh, you've got the working document as far as the working wiki page it's the PowerCube ver version 17.08 let me paste that in and that has the master spreadsheet so that what we're gonna work with today is that master spreadsheet that's on the wiki page the wiki page also has the design doc uh, there's the visual BO BOM visual bill of materials there's the August 19 design sprint document um, let me share my screen share okay so you should be seeing my screen on the wiki page itself we at the top we've got the visual build materials which shows kind of like the main components essentially like on the v-bomb page one there's the the chain from the hydraulic reservoir to the engine and pump and the cooler and that's essentially what the frame what the power cube is minus the frame so then we go to the next design sprint document right there so if you go into there uh, we have a basic protocol so I'm going to go in here and let's review the protocol for today. So create free CAD files for the different parts according to the work assignment. So the work assignment is slide number three in the, in the working doc. So pretty much broke down all of this uh, into, into people's tasks. Use the bill of materials as a reference for parts. So the bill of materials is on the wiki page. Uh, it's right here. That's the, that's the reference if you want to reference the, all the parts, the the bill of materials on the wiki page. And the more important document for today would be the the master CAD checklist. So basically, which uh, basically list of all the parts, CAD file link assigned to, and then uh, putting that into the part library as the last step. So according to today's protocol use the bill of materials as a reference for parts if they're already created build upon them like from last week's session or two weeks ago here are on slide number three there's the parts that we already do have and I just got the engine from Josh no it wasn't Josh it was Will was it um, it was Josh sent in the engine so we got a good submission there uh, back to the protocol so build upon existing parts if not do them from scratch upload your CAD to your log naturally and then enter your CAD into the power cube part library so that's that's the ultimate repository of all the parts for the part library of the power cube that's um, where we build <clears throat> part library that's where we would build from as in if we got to do another power cube later in the future there's all the parts there if you want to do modifications etc so then after you're done with putting that into the part library and we can of course keep updating the files like the idea is get the simplest file possible and then keep working on it to either make it more accurate or less accurate as needed essentially some parts need to be very detailed like the engine dimensions have to be pretty specific in order for the engine to fit inside the frame so some of those need to be quite good and uh, in fact I have the engine here so what I'll do is uh, we'll we'll input the engine into the frame and so forth see how it fits and then I might have to verify that I'm gonna take um, some measurements at the shop which I can just step away for a few minutes uh, but at the end of the day insert your part into the master CAD file as soon as you're finished so that for the master CAD file that's once again linked on the power cube uh, version 17.8 page and where is that on that page if you got the part library at the very top of the part library you should have the master file so we've got master file and into it we're putting all the different parts so as as we have anything just please upload a picture and an entry like a gallery entry just like this to the part library now there's a few more parts like the fan and pump and so forth they're already done so please put them into the into the part library so to review the protocol create CAD files um, step number one 
uh, if they're already made, build upon them. Um, and and then there's the issue of assembly. So so watch. I would say uh, for everybody, watch Roberto's vi video uh, for how to how to make proper assemblies, and then we can work from that. Make proper assemblies. Uh, let's look at. Let's real quick look at Roberto's video, or just just his likes. Put his link in. I've seen the. It's, Jitsi is telling me you're having connectivity issues, and I don't see anybody else on here. But maybe that's just me. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, let's see. I don't know what to do about that. I mean, um, yeah, I mean, I don't see anybody either myself. I don't know what to do about the video quality here. Um, sorry, I don't know if I can do anything about it. Can you hear me, though? Okay, or no? Yeah. Yeah, I'm still getting audio, even though it's uh -huh. saying there's connectivity issues occasionally. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I guess we've been going back and forth between Hangouts and Jitsi, uh, yeah. whatever works best, so... I don't know, as long as it's working, we'll just... Is it acceptable as is? This, maybe. Yeah, st stick with this. Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing audio. Yeah. Um, right. So, um, yeah, please look at uh, Roberto's video for how, about proper assemblies. So... Create CAD, upload to your log naturally. That's what everyone does. Enter that in the PowerCube library. That's just please make sure you do that. So so altogether, it's organized well here with a picture, and we can then for all future work. I mean, we're we're actually laying a lot of groundwork right now because we're not only generating the initial CAD files in FreeCAD since we began using FreeCAD this year, but we're also seeding the all the part libraries for all the all the different projects which is in perspective that's actually a big step because we've never been at the point where we've got full part libraries and CAD that everyone can use like right now that we have free CAD that we've migrated to as our official platform which works I think really well uh, we, we actually can share the files and work on, on them collaboratively so that's a major score but we gotta we do want to seed those the library properly and then maybe as the last step uh, within the MasterCAD checklist. So before we go into the MasterCAD file, please update MasterCAD checklist uh, with your work product link. So MasterCAD checklist right here. If we go into edit of that. then you see part name so we broke it down into every single individual part as in the bill of materials so that means we are complete once the CAD file link column is complete with everyone's link so we are once again like we did for the Lyman filament extruder which I think went well we ended up reconciling the overall CAD with the bill of materials with the master spreadsheet to make sure that everything checks out uh, and all the parts are available. Purchasing links are the thing that's missing in here, but they're actually, that's already taken care of because that's already in the bill of materials. So CAD file link in column B, column C is the assignment who's doing that. Uh, required details, so maybe any notes. Assembly CAD link. I'm not sure if we need the assembly CAD, CAD link. I think what we're going to do this time is to work with... Well, if a few of these parts come into one assembly, yeah, that would be the assembly file. But then there's, of course, the master CAD file, which is on a, on a wiki page. So, uh, part library link. The part library link should be the same as the CAD filing. I don't think we really need the part library link. This would be more like 
is part library seeded because the link to the part library will of course be the same CAD file we're not putting two placeholders it's just that it has a picture so um, so maybe let's say put into the put into part library so ma make sure we have that so so once that's checked off and ready checked off uh, what we can do here is simply yes or no you know and we can do a conditional formatting there where if it has a Y in it for yes so there's I typically do conditional formatting where um, format cells if cell contains text contains Y and then formatting style is color it to this yellow so for example if the engine is done if you put a yes there it colors green otherwise uh, it's not green so yeah let's get rid of that so is that make sense for everybody any questions on this let's link to the MasterCAD checklist here any questions okay um, I think we had some different wiki pages and I was just looking through to figure out where some of the parts were listed yeah. from before and I think they got on a different page than the main part library for some reason but um, I'm still trying to find that well, page. The, I mean, the, the we page the three sprint page. Right. The only thing. Well. That, right. Right. The design sprint page would be okay. So the master master wiki page that we need is the PowerCube ver version seventeen point oh eight. So let me we'll just just to organize ourselves around where everything is here. So master page list. PowerCube version 17.08 that has the visual bill of materials and that has the design sprints it also has the design sprint history there's August 19 with the MasterCAD checklist and then there's August 5 which shows everyone else's work product from before but I just copied into the current document the current August 19 document um, the slide number three the work breakdown structure has like when when there's a link there that's the links from last week essentially so it's it's actually all there there's two four six eight links there and that's that's where we're at so let's see so we got it looks like Abe and Joseph you guys are the only guy so let's see if it's clear uh, for what your division is so you got Abe log splitter pump yeah okay Abe so last time you did the pump which is good that's what we're gonna use but for the special case of the brick press we can use a log splitter pump meaning it has a higher flow when it's not under so much pressure which is really good for the brick press because it works like a log splitter when you when you don't have any resistance like before like when you're loading the soil you don't need pressure you just need to move the cylinder so so a log splitter pump actually works well because it allows you a higher flow with lower power with lower uh, engine requirement so we want to draw that one up it's it's going to be slightly different than than the the regular pump that we have uh, the log splitter pump is like a two-stage pump or which which allows you to have low pressure and high pressure and low low flow and high flow so let's do that so that's for Abe as far as um, hey where is uh, where's Joseph right there pump Lovejoy shaft coupler all right uh, look at that into the uh, just to explain that if you go to the the spreadsheet the BOM spreadsheet so there's the uh, where is that the mounting kit for the the pump yeah that log splitter pump there in in the bill of materials it comes if you go to that eBay link there for the pump Joseph you see all that it's that's what we need we need that coupler there with all the parts uh, so basically you put these two halves together one goes on the pump and one goes on the engine so you gotta kinda draw up that that spider coupler there and how do you how do you know its dimensions 
I think you can just wing it, <laughs> but it would be nice to have the specific dimensions there. What we do know is that they slip over the shaft and they're not longer than the shaft, so as long as you kind of, you can do it pretty much by eye, like I, I guess the width would here be about three inches, if that's a one inch hole in that shaft coupler there, you can see it's like, it's got that much meat around on each side, so it would be like three inches, uh, three inches wide, if that's according, if that's just like it is in the picture. But yeah, if you can do the pump Lovejoy coupler, so those two things, uh, so we can put them on the 5 8 shaft of the pump and then a 1 inch shaft of the engine. So that's that's the assignment there. Um, yeah, does that make sense? Uh, any questions? Can you guys start start on that? Okay, I, I think I've got... Uh most of the audio good so I understand yeah it's the alternate pump and I think I've heard about that the log splitter pump before so I'll start yeah. on that uh -huh. um, I, I see you you were talking about the let's see links in the document yeah and um, kind of what I was looking at more links is is the wiki yeah. I think there's still some confusion there I guess that the parts library for uh, um, this power cube is this section on power cube for v1708 yeah um let's see cad modules and parts library and then we've got a few subsections that are there so i guess there's nothing under there right now but i i think that um there must be another wiki page because i thought before uh -huh. I and mean, i know there's there's the one that's for the design sprint but i thought uh -huh. last time during that design sprint that we uploaded parts and images to a parts library so i'm looking I'm trying to figure out if there's another page yet. No, no, it's, um, it's right there. If you scroll down to CAD modules parts library, it's right there. It might be slightly reformatted because okay. I changed something. Because it's right there. Okay, I see that it's that section is empty, and I just thought we had um, a wiki uh, page where we had some stuff already. What do you mean it's empty? If you scroll down, if you you're in the PowerCube version 17.08, CAD modules part library. Correct. I see. Wait. I see the front, well, I see the subsections. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing what you're seeing, but the, the subsection number five, or, well, okay, parts library. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there's the frame module, but I thought we had um, other parts of that. Yeah, so well, the thing, what happened is they didn't get uploaded yet, so so that's, that's the next step for people. Maybe people okay. weren't clear about filling them into the part library. That's why I. That's why our step number three in the design sprint protocol is to make sure you upload it to the part library. Yeah. Yeah. What I'm. I guess I'm missing is I uploaded my pump last time. I'm pretty oh, it sure disappeared. It's different places, and I don't. Uh huh. I'm trying to figure out where I put those, uh, because I know I, I uploaded it to a couple different places. At oh, least. you did. Uh huh. And I'm thinking that there's another page where I put it, so huh. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back to that other document to see where we were linking to, because I don't. I mean, there was the design sprint wiki page for the Power Cube from that last time, but it doesn't look like there's um. there either. Uh-huh, so you're saying you think you already put it up into some library. Um, the I mean, previous... Uh, well, we can oh. we can verify that right here. We can go to... We've got the slide number three. we got pump one, the link to that. So we go to that page on the wiki. And on the wiki, we say it's, it just links to PowerCube version 17.08 and A-band log. So I know you put it into the working document because yeah. because that was pasted in there, but I don't think you uploaded it to the library anywhere because um, it's just not linked okay. to any other upload. Yeah, I know you pasted the picture of it into the maybe, working yeah. document, but maybe not into the library. Yeah, yeah. I think that there was. I thought I saw a list at least, maybe not like a part library. Maybe that's what it was. It was a, a part list. list. Oh, okay, maybe it's what was down below the frame fittings. Okay, that must be it. Um, which, maybe that needs to be organized. Yeah. 
differently. Okay, I see. That that must be where I linked it there. The yeah. Yeah, the like you got the hydraulic, hydraulic pump link down there. So we got to clean up the part library here, um, and put some new parts in there. So maybe I'll I'll do that. I'll, I'll continue working on it. I've got the engine in front of me here. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Nice engine. That's good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, excellent. Thanks, Josh. That's pretty good. Let's see. Do we have all that we need? Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm, I'm wondering where, where Josh got the, um, the actual dimensions, but somewhere they must have been there to be found. But that looks quite accurate, and I can actually... What I'm going to do is I'm going to maybe go down there and take some real measurements and verify they, that they check out with what we have right here. So that would be good. Um, yeah, yeah, so you guys can get started. I'll, I'll actually take some real measurements because the most critical single item is going to be how the engine fits in the frame because that kind of determines everything else, the, the frame dimensions and everything. So um, since we're going to spend a bunch of time cutting out the frame, we want to make sure we cut the right frame size, otherwise things won't fit. So dimensions are quite important here. But this is good. Um, so you guys are good to go? Joseph, you you have any questions? Oh, there's Michelle. All right, Michelle, we're we're dividing tasks. Pick, pick a thing. For, uh, pick a. Go to the. Michelle, go to the see the protocol here. <clears throat> That's the protocol, Michelle. Uh, page two shows the protocol. Page three shows the work division. Now, now, Michelle, you didn't even, uh, you're not even on this map here because when we divided up different parts. So, what I'd like you to do is, if you're if you're available, just do take one part. Just take anybody who's not working here. Um, we can do. Josh already did that. Josh did the engine, so that's good. Uh, that's I'm gonna put that as green for a green light. I do not see the engine mount bolts from Josh. Maybe I, I was just examining his CAD here. I do not see the Yeah, that's good. That's really good. Let's see if Josh log he if he uh, put the bolts in there too. He didn't update his log. Last entry is August 9. Joseph, I think you're going to have to give him a long lecture on updating the work log. Okay. <laughs> Just kidding. But no, make sure you up update your log so we... Like, for example, if I looked at your log, Josh, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't know that you had the engine. So, But you emailed me, so we know. Uh, Michelle, uh, maybe do tell you what. Why don't you take the? I know it's seven sixteenths by uh, seven sixteenths by two inch bolts that mount the the engine to the frame. So if you could draw those up, maybe maybe start with that. Um, Michelle, since you're here, just pump those out. Uh, just get them available as a as a file. So, and that, the basic workflow, very important, do the CAD, upload it to your log. I mean, I mean, I shouldn't even be, be saying that. That's like whenever you do anything, you always update to your log. So, I mean, um, I should stop saying that because that's, that's understood for the whole community here. But part two, enter your CAD into the PowerCube part library. Whose dog is that? It's, it's mine. Uh, my brother just arrived and uh, the dog is uh, Who is that speaking? Uh, Michelle. Oh, that's you. Okay. All right. Um, 
Okay, so just reviewing, create the CAD, place that into the, the power cube part library. That's critical. So we're generating our full part library with all the single parts. And then update the master CAD checklist, which is the checklist on the wiki page. And then insert, so the last, very, very last step is insert that into the master CAD file as soon as you have finished any part. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, since we have a few parts already, like the frame and engine. Frame and engine are the most critical, so once we have that, uh, we're pretty good to go to start fitting everything in, into place. But we'll take the MasterCAD file and just start inserting piece by piece into that. Before the MasterCAD file, within the MasterCAD checklist, uh, the, the spreadsheet, there's column B is CAD file link, but column E is assembly CAD link. So if so we can actually be putting uh, things together within an assembly, like if there's the, like say the fan cooler assembly, we can do that. We can do two things. One is just to put things directly into the final file or assemble from this uh, spreadsheet into, into larger assembly files. So those are the two possibilities. Uh, Michelle, can you start working on that? And then as soon as you're done, just take anybody else's work. I mean, we gotta go through this whole list here today Let's see how far we, we can get. we got four of us on right now. Uh, so let's get going. And um, any questions? Michelle, is that clear? If good? Uh, I, I was just uh, checking um, uh, how it was coming around the, um, the power cube. Uh, yeah. I can't stay the whole uh, meeting. I still have to eat. Okay. I'm going to... You can, uh, you can put me uh, like the, the engine balls and maybe some other stuff that I can draw. Okay. Uh, um, I'm gonna check. First, I'm gonna eat and uh, I'm gonna check later. Okay. Yeah. So let's take a look yeah, at since, uh huh. Since since Josh did the engine, uh, you got the little bolts. Let's see what do we got. Um, fan. Yeah. Why do not we get you on the fan? 12 inch version so there's already a 23 inch version of the fan uh, I mean you can either take that 23 inch version and just shrink it down to 12 inch diameter or yeah yeah I mean that's that's simple take that scale it so scaling scaling is doable within FreeCAD um, that would be that would be a good thing to do and uh, if you if you that's a that should be pretty quick actually. So that I'm gonna put Michelle here. Now the typical protocol here is like okay we're signing you an assignment that we put somebody else on already. So what's what's useful is go to Alejandro log and see if by any chance he actually might have started on it already. Uh, but I'm assuming not because the general practice here is if there is no link, it does not exist. So, and same for, uh, I'm going to also put you down here if, if you are not, you know, run out of tasks to do. But the cooler, um, there's a cooler, one version of the cooler, the larger one for the larger power cube we did. And we want to do the smaller one. And once again, refer to the bill of materials for which that is. So, so have you the bolts and then do the fan. And if you have more time, do the cooler. Sounds good. Let's do it. Good, good, Michelle? Yeah, okay. Uh, Great. I'm going to run down and get measurements of the uh, engine. Uh, my mic uh, didn't work. Okay. Sounds good. I'm going to run down to the, to the shop here and I'm going to take some pictures of the engine and make sure I can verify some of the parts that Josh did in his drawing because that's going to be a critical dimension thing. So I'll be back in like five minutes, ten minutes.
audio is poor. We had a little bit of that. Marchin went to get um, some measurements off the mortar to verify some things. Uh, maybe I should repost the uh, links for the working document, just in case you don't know what those are. Let's see, work from slide three in that power cube design sprint, August 19th document. So there's a work breakdown structure there. Uh, I think Josh submitted, let's see, the engine is sim or engine uh, CAD. So Marchman is going to check on that with some measurements and i'm doing the log splitter pump i think michelle is going to be doing some engine bolts uh a little later he's just eating dinner i think right now so there's a bunch of stuff that's open Unless you're already assigned to something, well, there's... Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Oh, well, so I am available for some tasks, if you have something to me. Um, I'm not sure what, let's see, the priority would be, I'm doing the, the pump thing, Marchin is going to get the measurements on the on the engine like I said so um, it looks like it's got people assigned to certain things and I think th there's different versions here uh, he put Michelle on the let's see the 12 inch version of the fan so there was already a 20 inch I'm not sure what else is changing or if all of these things listed on slide 3 of the document did you get that link okay Yes, yes, I'm, I'm in the document. Yeah, let's see, slide two is process, so... Yeah, okay, so the main goal, slide one, finish CAD plus master assembly, fit engine pump and filter into frame. Oh, and there's the link to the previous document, okay. Oh, and there, there's a link at the top to the bill of materials, which is what we're using to find the parts out of or part links Let's see so it sounds like the engine pump and the filter the priority Not sure what the filter see the filter must be attached to something I assume that it's the same so I don't know if some of these parts are already finished because they're the same from one version of the cube to the next but <clears throat> I think let's see oh there's a link to the filter so that's done Yeah, like Richard said, anything that's not linked to, I guess that means it's not finished. So, so we've got names by all this stuff, but you could probably add your name to something that uh, uh, somebody else is not working upon, and that's what Marchin just did for Michelle. He added them to the fan, 12-inch fan. Oh, I see. The, um, might have to. I I, I can cannot edit the document. Oh. 
Yeah, I can't. I'm view only as well. That's right. I forgot to send a request access to March and I. I saw that and I didn't uh, tell March and he should be back in a little bit, but uh, <clears throat> send a request on that. I guess the trick might be to look at somebody's log and if they haven't started work on these parts then and if it looks important then you can just take that and see and looks like Jose just joined as well Let's see do I need to repaste the document again probably no, it's, it's fine. I noticed before too there was some I don't know maybe some confusing arrangement on the wiki and Martin said he was going to work on editing that later too but that could be done um, I think we had parts listed before and everything wasn't quite linked right we had a wiki page with uh, what was it called the design sprint uh, power cube design sprint wiki page and I think some of that got moved there's a list of parts, uh, let's see, below the frame fittings on the wiki page. And I guess those need to be actually done as uh, put put in, arranged in the part library better. And I thought I uploaded you know, my parts and stuff in a different area like that before, but I think it was mostly the previous working document. Yeah, and I'd... so we still need to, I don't know, arrange and upload. I had, a, I had a images for that, but it just didn't get put into a gallery on the wiki the way we usually do a part library. So um, there's some yeah. editing to do there if somebody wants to do that. Uh, I can do that. Okay. This is the PowerCube um, wiki page, right? Yeah, PowerCube v17.08. Okay.
Twitter just joined. I don't see a name there yet. I'm going to repost the links to our working documents for you. Marchin went to get some measurements for the engine to verify the CAD that was already done for that. Be back shortly. Um, you might see your name in the working document on slide three, uh, but starting at the top, there's some links and descriptions to the main goal, which is the Power Cube CAD. Uh, there's some slight differences from this version, I think, to the uh, previous version. Wait, is it? Jose, is that you? Jose disconnected.
How's everyone doing? There's Jose and Antonio that Roberto that joined us. Okay. Jose Antonio Roberto. So in the working dock. Jose, which subassembly do you have? I have the ruler and the fan assembly. Uh huh. Let's see. Fan and cooler. And you know that we have to do the... For this current one, there's the cooler that's the smaller version. Are you working with a 23-inch fan? Because actually I noticed that the fan that was generated last time was 23-inch, which is twice as big as what's what's required there. I'm working with, uh, with the C. I have the fan it's a 17708 fan. I don't know if it's just there's a file in the list of uh, parts in the in the master file in the in the power cube uh, wiki page. Um, let's review just where everything is here. So if we go to the power cube 17.08 page the working dock for today which is the design sprints August 19 is there the visual bomb is there the part library is below that and there's the master CAD checklist that's all within a power cube version 17.08 page the place where people should be linking to is the master CAD checklist as far as the final product we should have column number two all filled in as a result of the sprint and as far as the main procedure you're doing CAD uploading to the part library so we're actually seeding that little picture and the individual file in the part library and then please update the master CAD checklist with your work product so the ultimate thing like step number three on on slide number two within a di design sprint working doc that's the one where we can see everything on one page which is the the spreadsheet so the spreadsheet link I just pasted that in and then a power cube wiki page which has everything including that spreadsheet that is uh, as as I put in there um, yeah definitely you can wor keep working on what's there the the notes are for today's meeting is that the fan I, I went through the files that were generated last time and it turns out the fan that was generated was 23 inches so we actually need one that's 12 inches and actually Michelle was gonna get on top of that um, and also Michelle just joined us a little bit ago and then Michelle was going to take on the smaller cooler, the 1240 cooler. So what it turns out is the cool, the 1268 cooler, that's a little larger one. And that's one that we can use for larger, like say we have two power cubes that need cooling. You can use a single 1268 cooler. For the single power cube, like for the brick press, where it's just one engine, we know they're not going to be using, our clients are not going to be using anything bigger. A little smaller cooler, it looks similar, but it's just slightly smaller. It's the cooler, the 1240 one. And you can look at that in the master bill of materials, uh, the bill of materials. Uh, you can see what that looks like, the dimensions. Uh, but yeah, you, uh, Jose, the answer to your question is yeah, you, you can keep going at that. But the question is, uh, we have to coordinate with Michelle to do the smaller versions <clears throat> for the current power cube. So let's see how the best to divide it. Well, um... Cooler mounting, fan mounting. Okay, so you're, that assumes that we have the correct ones. Um, the way the cooler and fan, but maybe um, cooler and fan mounting. Cooler, fan. Yeah, 
Okay, so Jose, so the idea there is there's two two sets of parts for cooler mounting and fan mounting. So maybe um, generate those mount parts, actually. That would be actually a good thing. In the bill of materials, let me look at the bill of materials just to point you in the right direction for those little parts. In the bill of materials... We still need... Uh edit access on the working document by the way you do hmm okay yeah i'm i'm been view only and i think uh okay other just people did said it. that as sorry well sorry about that see if it works now it should work so on the If we go to the bill of materials, uh, yeah, is it working? Now it's telling me I can't access it at all. Uh, let me try really? again. I'm, I'm refreshing, but oh, now it's telling me I don't have permission to well, access let me the change file that. at all. Okay, uh, try again. See if it works now. Good. Okay. Jose, to answer that question, um, so Michel just popped in for a little bit and he was going to do the fan and cooler, the smaller versions. Now, since that's what we're working on, that's good to do. As far as the, the parts of interest that we have to draw up for the mounting parts, there's... Um, thing called the fan mounting unit for Hayden cooler in a bill of materials fan mounting how do you mount the fan it's this rubber expandable piece and you can see that if you go to the Amazon link uh, we want to cad that up let's see that's a fan okay that's a fan mount that that one there fan mounting there should be another one let's see if the cooler mounting kit comes with the actual mounts no it doesn't it we need these rubber blocks uh, let me see where's that link in a Oh wow, okay, it's not it's not in the spreadsheet, so let me link to the the mounting kit. Okay, so this what you see on my screen here, that's the mounting kit for the cooler, which is basically like this rubber block that you mount. Um let me put that in first and then explain it. Oh no, what is it? It's there. The mounting kit for cooler is there. And the fan mounting kit. So there's one is the cooler mounting and the second one is the fan mounting. So cooler mounting kit, fan mounting kit. The way the, the cooler mounting kit works is you have a rubber piece like you see there. Through that goes a bolt that bolts to whatever you're attaching to. But as that bolt clamps down, it expands the rubber. And that rubber is in between the two like the two sides. The rubber slips in between the black pieces of the cooler itself. Um, so if we go... to the cooler look at the cooler see the holes on the side that's where the rubber goes in it goes into one of those one either one or the other of those those holes those squarish looking holes and when it when you put the bolt through it it actually expands out a little bit and holds the the cooler by friction because otherwise if you have this metal on metal it would rub out and break 
that's why that rubber mount goes into that hole one on each side and it squeezes and expands out to, to hold the the cooler so think of it I mean to actually put that into the the work dock uh, that's an important piece for how we do that in the build itself so I should document that let me do that